Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to stream or live stream in Discord. So first things first, what you want to be able to do is go into a voice channel. So in order to stream, you need to go into a voice channel, whether it's one created by you in your personal Discord server or one that gives you permission via their settings on another Discord server. So here we are in the general voice channel. Click into it showing that, yes, here I am in the voice channel. And what you want to do is down at the bottom here, you're going to see options uh, to turn on your camera, share your screen, start an activity, or open the soundboard. We want to share your screen. So go ahead and click into share your screen. And it's then going to allow you to choose your different screens. So you'll have applications, which you see here are Discord and my recording software, or my screens. So let's say I have something on screen number two, and I want to stream that specific you know, screen. The streaming channel is going to be the voice channel that we went ahead and had access to. And also, if you click on notify my friends in this server, they have to be in that server that you're streaming. Uh, by clicking this, it'll notify those people that you're streaming. And then the stream quality, these are all settings for the quality of your stream. So you can select the drop down menu to either make it smoother video, better for text readability, or go to custom, which is what I like to do. And all of this is depending on your hardware. If you have a nice or decent computer or PC, this shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I like to stream in 1080p, but if you look at this, you can only stream in 1080p if you are a Nitro member, which is Discord's premium uh, membership program. You can try one month for free and see if that's something that you like. Uh, but by subscribing to Nitro, you get access to 1080 and 1440 as well as source video feed with your camera. Frame rate, you can choose between 15, 30, and 60. 60 would be with the premium Nitro subscription. But if we go to better text readability, it'll set up uh, uh, basically uh, for people to read text. Never do that one if you're trying to actually stream video. Uh, I would either go to smoother video or custom. And then when you're ready to go, go ahead and click on go live. As you can see under go live, now you can see here is the stream right here. I can click and hold and drag that to the different corners there. If I wanted to, I can go to stream settings or I can click on the X and go to stop streaming. Also, if I click into general here, you can see that it's going to show me uh, actually right here the actual screen or application that I'm streaming as well as the settings in the upper right hand corner. Now, if I go down here and turn on my camera, if I click turn on camera, you can see that I can select the different camera that I want to use. Here's my webcam here and I can turn on camera and now I have my webcam here and what I'm streaming over here to the side. And again, I can always declick that to turn off my camera or stream or whatever it may be. When I'm ready to end the stream, what I then want to do is either hang up or disconnect or right here where you see the big X, go to stop streaming. And then if I want to, I can just go ahead and click the red disconnect and I leave that voice channel altogether. Now, now, all of these things that I just showed you works as well if you're in a direct or DM message or group call with someone. So if you want to stream uh, what you're seeing on one of your screens or a game you're playing to your message group, your group of friends that you're kind of in a message with, that's completely fine. It's the same way you would go to up here to direct messages, click into your direct message, and then down here you'll see something just like I just showed you that says share screen. Click on that and you'll be streaming to that group of friends inside that current message group that you're going to see here. Couple of pointers and tips to make sure your streams on Discord are the best they possibly can be. Make sure you check your internet connection. Make sure that if you have a slow internet connection, uh, it will cause lag or stutter. Also use a wired connection, an ethernet connection if possible. Also close any unnecessary programs that are running in the background that you do not need. This will free up resources for your computer and improve the overall stream performance. Uh, and use a dedicated streaming software if you want to have more control. So I highly recommend if you want uh, more control for transitions, uh, the ability to bring in and out different scenes and have your stream look just overall better. Uh, use something like OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, StreamYard. Those are great options for you. As far as troubleshooting, restart your computer. That's always number one. Number two, make sure that you have the latest version of Discord installed. Uh, also, try streaming a different gamer application. See if it might be the gamer app stopping you from doing so. Try streaming to a different Discord server to see if that works. And then if you're using a dedicated streaming software, try changing your stream settings and input settings to make sure. And if you're still having problems, you probably just need to contact Discord support or go on Google and see if someone's having your exact issue at hand. That's it. That's how you stream over on Discord. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.